Hi guys, in this video, I will be explaining how you can make your Android app made with React Native edge to edge compatible for the upcoming Google 15 update. So, Google is going to roll out Android 15 starting from October 15, which is what couple of days from now. First, they are going to roll out to their flagship device, which is Google Pixels, and then they are going to slowly roll out to higher end devices of Samsung by the end of the year or according to their release schedule. So let's take if you search behavior changes or like Android 15 developer updates in Google and then you, you will be greeted with this link. If you tap on that link, click on this review behavior changes for apps and click on this apps targeting Android 15. Scroll down, come to this section called user experiences and system UI and you would see something called edge to edge enforcement. Okay, if you read this, apps are edge to edge by default on devices running Android 15. If the app is targeting Android 15, which is API level 35. So what is this and how you can make your app compatible for this particular requirements, right? So before going into the code uh, in React Native, I will just explain the brief history of how the status bars and the navigation bars work in Android before Android 15, which is Android 14 is currently in almost all most of the devices or in the uh, no, latest devices and how it differs with the Android 15 and how it compares with iOS, right? So first let's discuss with Android 14, right? Let's say if you open your device or your Android device and if it runs Android 14 or 13 or anything below, you would, uh, like in, in some apps which have not that much, you know, optimized, uh, what I would say, the like UI and UX experience, what would, have, what would they have done is, they would just have the you know, component or the body component, which is, below the status bar and above the navigation bar uh, in some other, let's say it is pink in color here, right? So what would happen is the user's focus would be, which should be always on the body one, right? Body uh, component, not the above one, which is the status bar, right? The status bar al always has a fixed gray or some black color and the navigation bar, same. It has the same gray or black color. This destroy it destroys the know UI of your whole application and if you want a more aesthetic app this is a deal breaker right so what you have to tackle this you have to go to each and every screen or component or stack screen in your uh, you know in, in, in sense of you know react native and you have to you know change the status bars each and every time when the user enters the screen and you know you have to also animate it when it when the user comes to the screen so that it doesn't feel abrupt right so you have to do all these things Let's say if you have 100 screens, you have to make sure this applies to all those screens, right? It's like in one screen, you may have red, in another screen, you may have white, etc. You have to do this for all these screens. You, you imagine the pain of the developer to do this. To take care of, like, you know, to remove this pain, Google has introduced a superb update on Android 15 where they force all the apps to have edge to edge by default. So, which which means the top status bar and the bottom navigation bar will be non-existent. Okay, this is this emulates the uh, the UI and the UX of the flow of iOS, right? So, if you see here, iOS has a nice you know uh, notch at the top, right? And then it doesn't have a, a navigation bar like how Android does. So, okay, I'm going to use the theme so that it, it is more visible. So now you can see the app is edge to edge. But I, I have entered something called a safe area view so that the uh, component doesn't go you know, above or overlap the uh, notch at the top. So iOS by default is always you know, edge to edge. This promotes an extremely nice UI and UX experience for the user as well as the developer. So they have, don't have to worry about changing the status bar color at the top and the bottom. So as Google uh, introduced this one in Android 15, we have to make sure that our app looks and works exactly like iOS, right? So uh, what I would say is uh, compatible for the edge to edge for Android 15. So how can you do it? And then how can I uh, like, you know, I will show you how you can also do it, right? So let's get into the code. If I go to the code, so I'll go, yeah, first I'll go to this component. And as usual, I will explain each and every line of code and why I've used it and how you can use that to do this the exact same thing in your application as well. 
So the first thing is I have imported the relevant libraries. Remember, this is a demo app. So I, I just used uh, JavaScript. And then from there, I know I, I used, you know, uh, the relevant libraries like uh, fast image for faster rendering, etc. Right. So you, you would have seen a nice feature of this theme switching. So I achieved it with the help of React Native theme switch animation. This particular library gives me the ability to switch the animation, like switch the theme in an animated manner. But the thing is, I had to go to each and every uh, you know view and then buttons as well as text and have it and make made sure it has a you know dynamic color which is hosted in the you know global part of the application. And from there, I used the theme and uh, I used context right the context API and then hosted it globally so that when the user taps on that sun icon and the moon icon, it automatically changes, right? The theme changes from light to dark. So let's take, the, at this point, the text is, uh, what I would say, black. So if I tap on that, the text will change to white, right? Same way for the background, it's in some bluish tint color and it changed to some black tint color, right? Same way for the icons. Same, and the next one is the use is focus, which is nothing but as you enter a particular screen, this particular hook will get triggered. And then you can use it for various purposes, which I will discuss here. The next one is the React Native H2H library. So this is the library which we are going to use to enable H2H configuration in our React Native application. So I will go to this libraries page. So let's take I go here in this one. So this is a library made by Zuntek. He's a very good guy who, um, with which his, I have used this libraries of uh, Boot Splash, React Native Bars, which is a predecessor to this React Native Edge to Edge. With the help of React Native Bars, I was I have made my work professional app as well as my personal apps really look really good without the status bars jumping here and there. Right? As I I said right. Like if one screen has blue and another screen has red. The jumping of the status bars was extremely annoying and then the UX was not good. But with the help of this library, I was able to fix it. And then, you know, you can as like this is a upgraded version of the React Native Boss. I would recommend you to use it as I'm going to use it in my all my applications from today itself. Right. So first step is you have to install this library in your React Native application. So, so this is my uh, app. So I'm going to go to the terminal and then I'm going to install it. So once I install it, uh, that's it. Like actually, this particular library will work only in Android, right? So as you know, like I use already as it. You can use the uh, library to just change the status bar colors, right? Like from uh, light theme to dark theme, which I will discuss now. Okay. So once you do that, uh, you have to uh, the next step is okay. I'll just discuss these two, and then I'll move to the Android configuration. So React Native Fast Image is an awesome library where it caches all your images which are hosted somewhere and then it's extremely good and I use it for all my applications, right? So for remote URLs and then this is maintained by a dream 11. Okay. So the uh, real, uh, whatever it's a maintainer of the app of, of the library is not ma actively maintaining it. So dream 11, uh, fork the library and then they made, uh, all the changes, which made the app crash when we use it. And it's also new or compatible. Second one is the, uh, react, IE8 one I like internationalization uh, library which I used to you know uh, integrate multiple languages in my application right so as I speak Tamil I also have Tamil language right I can also change all the text in the app to you know uh, like in any language it is also compatible with uh, you know left to right and right to left with Arabic right you can see all the text is you know in right to left but that is out of scope so I'll just change it to English and then move forward so let's now get into the Android configuration. So for this, what you have to do is you have to click on your folder structure, go to Android, go to app, go to source, main, res, scroll down, go to values, and then click on colors. If you see these others, you can uh, ignore that because I, I made a tutorial on how you can change your app's name itself when uh, the system's language changes. So you have to go to styles and this is where the important part comes. So in here, so this would, this would be there for, uh, you know, all the uh, boilerplate uh, code. What you have to do is you have to comment that out or, or remove it and add this one. So where you will get this is if we go to this particular libraries page, if you scroll down, you can see here, uh, remove this and then add this one. Okay. If you do that, that, uh, 
your app would become your android app will become edge to edge compatible right so that is it for the uh, android configuration so i'm going to remove it as i am done with this tutorial right or this section of the tutorial now if i scroll down you can see i have used something called safe view android right so uh, if i go to the uh, apps right so i just wanted to show you how uh, like what i am done what i'm going to do in the other parts of the video right so let's take this is in okay sorry i'll put this here and then this here so this is android 15 and this is android 14 okay so i'll go to the android studio to show you so this one runs android for like 14 which is api 34 this is api 35 so let's take i go back in this section so let, i open this t mobile app this is android 15 uh, no, powered uh, emulator this is android 14 powered emulator you can see the navigation bars is at the top for the android 14 one okay and they have they done a wrong uh, you know, bar style at the top it should be black i'll also discuss how you can switch that okay so uh like okay this in this emulator my app is running so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this and then i'm going to open my app again okay so i'll just again close this right i'll uh, quit this app and then open the app again so this is what uh, i have used a library called react native boots plus which is also edge to edge compatible that's why it look gives a proper look if you see in some android apps the splash screen they would have the navigation bars at the top and the bottom or the status bar the navigation bars at the top with some other color it, it would look ugly so you know uh, Boot Bo splash allows me to do that so that is a uh, topic for another tutorial right so this is how i made uh, my apps in the play stores you know look very good with the edge to edge like ios so these are all uh, you know uh, this, this is a concept which i mentioned where i would change the themes and then if i scroll down this is uh, for the demos where uh, and i showed about the uh, translation right uh, which i would uh, put it in an array and then showcase it there so you can see all the code that i have commented out here i will discuss it uh, once i have done here right so what i have done here is i can discard all the code below that is just to showcase so what i have done here i have uh, used a safe area view which prevents the uh, notch from getting overlapped in ios so let's take i use view what would happen you would see you can see i think i should reload the app uh, okay so i'll reload the app okay uh, what i'll do okay sorry the system bus is at the top sorry okay so i'll uh, showcase how you can do it right now uh, i'll just revert back to safe area view and just discuss with the system bars now this system bars is got, like retrieved from the edge to edge library so what does it do so if i go here and in this side i will have you know the uh, documentation says that uh, we can simply use the system bars just like that and then if we change the style from light to dark the uh, what i would say this particular you know bar style will change right so if it's uh, like we can change it from light to dark depending upon our use case so uh, you can simply uh, import it and then you can simply use it here so what i'll do i'll go here and then if it is dark right if it is dark theme use a light what I say, i'll go here use a light that is a white colored uh, icons at the top or the status bar icons at the top if it is in light theme right this, this one use a you know dark theme right so that is dark so that's it right? that the simple thing is switch it if it's dark it should be light if it's you know light it should be dark vice versa right? once that is done uh to be frank your app is, is now edge to edge right? that's how you do it right that's how you convert your app from you know not edge to edge to edge to edge right so this is extremely easy thanks to this particular library but I would also want to discuss how I did it before all these libraries, right? So I'll just do this. And this is not correct at all. But I had to do this because, you know, the app doesn't, didn't look that good. But with the help of the new one, you know, it has solved you know, all my headaches. So let's take, what is this, right? What is the, uh, you know, end goal of this particular code and also this one? So in the use effect, use effect is like when the component moans for the first time, use effect will get called or even the state gets changed you can also use this uh, you know, like if the is active gets changed or like if the screen gets mounted again you this particular one fires but that is out of scope this one let's discuss this 
so what is what does it do if the theme is dark right i'm going to make the bar content light okay i'm going to make the bar content light and then i'm going to change the status bar color to this one like to this particular background and i'm also going to change the navigation bar color to the same one right so it should be edge to edge this is how i made my app edge to edge before this uh, update right or this requirement from google but for uh, if you see this is only for android okay in ios this doesn't work because ios is already e to e right and then same for the i like for the light thing i had to change it every time right i had to change it every time when the theme also change so if i go here this is the function which i call to you know to make that nice inverted like you know what i would say like, let's say i go here if i tap on this it would come uh, you know to that circle if uh, it's in what i would say dark to light and it will branch out if it's light to dark so that's how it, i do it and if i wanted to change the uh, you know status bar right how can i how would i have done it i would have done it in this way this way only so i'll just show you right i'll show you the pain that i went through before so i'm going to comment these things and then uh, what i will do i will comment this and then i will comment this okay so once i do that let's take i uh, save this and then i'll do this okay i think i'll reload this sometimes the uh, thing doesn't load okay uh, to be frank the change that we did here right in the in this one has made the app completely edge to edge so like even if i wanted to show i can't show it but yeah like it's it's not a big deal what i'm saying is we have a new solution now and it was extremely difficult before and like in android 14 and 13 and before that but now as you know google is transitioning more into the apple side right this is like you know it's a very game changer one for apps we want to be more aesthetically good right so for the boot splash or the splash screen i use this library okay so you can also use this library called boot splash where you can see at the edges it also you know works properly and then it automatically blends into that particular screen where i used hide is to fade so if i go here so if i search fade you can see that fade would be there and then you know, i use this exact command so that that fade uh, it fade ins to the view okay this both this is made by him so that you can go and thank him or sponsor him yeah so that's it for this particular video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to discard all these excess code so that uh, to be frank i don't need it after this particular event so i'm going to discard this and then yeah so i'll go to the top there is no need for this libraries anymore this is old library so there is no need for that and then i missed one point where there is something called safe area view android right so if i go here and then in this side and what i'm going to do is the i'm going to change the padding top this is a common thing that others use so this like you know let's take i use the safe area android view and i tap on it okay so what i'm going to do is let's reload okay i think it's completely edge to it okay i have to uh, dive more into it but this is how you can uh, do like you know change your uh, app from non compatibility to the compatible one okay so i have discussed a lot of concepts here if you have any doubts uh, in whatever i mentioned in this video you can uh, tell me in the like you can discuss about that in the comments so thanks for watching Thank you.